I would say that there is a lot of um, frustration that Europe is unable to implement a lot of the things they've agreed on. And it takes a long time to get 27 countries to agree mm -hmm. on anything. And so they've agreed on banking union, on capital markets union. And those things are so important for European GDP to accelerate. Um, the fact that you still have all these frictions doing business between France and Germany or Italy and Portugal, it slows down business, it slows down IPOs, the capital markets union, they need to get more securitization to get a broader capital market that'll allow companies to borrow more easily and more cheaply. Until they can implement these things, it's going to be really hard for European stocks to outperform peers for mm -hmm. a sustained period because they don't have that growth behind them. Um, they know it. They know yeah. it. But without strong leadership, it's very hard to push the stuff through. And that takes us back to the French election. If we get to the second round of this election and we have what they call cohabitation, where you have one party in the Elysee and another party you know, fighting them all the time, mm -hmm. you have paralysis in France, but you also have lack of leadership in Brussels. And that's, that's their big worry, that they're just going to be stuck. Mm. Where typically has that leadership for the European Union come? Is it just... Germany because they're the biggest economy, France because they're large as well. Where does the leadership really come from? Yeah, I mean, historically, when you've had a strong Germany, strong France, ideally also a strong Italy, that trifecta could push stuff through. I think Europe, probably like most countries too, the most um, gains in policy, the most gains in integration have come <coughs> at moments in time when you have a crisis. Mm -hmm. Whether that's the sovereign debt mm -hmm. crisis of 2011, whether that's 2008, um, when there's something staring them in the face, an existential mm -hmm. threat, somehow they find a way to agree and move things forward. Hopefully we don't need a crisis of that sort this time. Immigration. It's not just in the United States on our southern border. It's obviously a huge issue for Europe. What, what was kind of the latest And thinking? it's not going away, right? Yeah. When we just look at demographics in places like Africa, when we look at social unrest around the world, we're going to continue to see immigration over the coming decades. And on one hand, we should welcome it, right? Immigration in the United States is the main factor holding up our labor force, which holds up our right. GDP. Um, but we need to find ways to do it responsibly where we reduce the social anxiety around it mm -hmm. and politicians are unable or unwilling, both sides of the Atlantic, yep. to get that done for the moment.